What's going on YouTube? Romans Flame 116 here, bringing you a Zero Tolerance 0350 knife review. This is my first knife review, so I'm not too sure how this is going to turn out, but I'm looking forward to many more in the future. Like I said, this is the Zero Tolerance 0350 model. There's the ZT logo right there for you on the back. Made in the USA, my favorite part. Kent Onion Design. And it has its own serial number. It's the 0350. And just so you guys know, if you guys get zero tolerance knives, they do have a lifetime warranty for sharpening on them, which is very, very cool in my opinion, because the steel on these knives is quite tough and it's kind of difficult to sharpen them if you're not the most experienced with knives. So Anyway, um, this is just like the ZT300. It's 10% smaller. It does have a smaller blade. The blade length on this is a 3 and one quarter inch blade. So, a little bit smaller, not too much, but it makes it easier for an EDC or an everyday carry knife. Um, it's a G10 handle, so it's quite rugged. It makes it really easy for gripping in all weather conditions, whether there be water, mud, Blood, you name it, whatever is on this handle, you will be able to hold on to this thing. Very secure in the hand and not too worried about it slipping out of my hand in any condition. Oh, but next, it is a speed safe, so that means it is a spring-assisted knife, which is one of my favorite features of this. Um, manual folders are nice, too. They both have their pros and cons, but me, I just like how fast this thing shoots out. It's a real strong spring assisted knife it just comes right out of there it does have jimping on the thumb studs um, right on the back here you can see really really rugged jimping right there you will not lose that in your hand that's gonna be really easy if you want to do a saber grip um, right there on the thumb as well easy for cutting it, the blade does have a recurve on it gives it that uh, gruesome slicing ability so very nice knife in my opinion. Um, like I said, it's S30V steel. It's a uh, very resistant to rust. It's coated in a DLC tungsten diamond light coating, so it makes it quite um, quite the weather weatherproof knife. Um, Going to be good for all conditions, whether it be camping, survival, you name it. This is the knife for you. Um, the pocket clip is a four-way carry. I have it on the Back side, I have it up there. You can switch it to that part. Both sides of the knife, it's a four-way adjustable clip. Very nice. It does come with a lanyard hole. Um, it is quite small, but um, that's that's the least of my worries. I don't really plan on carrying this with a lanyard. Um, the thumb studs aren't very um, aren't very practical. I would never flip it like that. I mean, it's quite difficult, and then the, the back thumb stud is almost impossible. It's very in there. I mean, you have a flipper. Why would you not use a flipper on that? Um, overall length, it is a 7 and 5 8 inch blade uh, length from tip to back. It weighs 6.2 ounces, and it is just a great knife. It's a liner lock, so... Right when you open it up, this thing locks right in there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It locks very hard in there, and that is not going to come out. So, very, very great knife. Very, very sharp. And um, I just like how beefy and uh, heavy this thing is. It's really a, really a great knife. I love it, and I carry it every day with me. My opinion, this is just, um, I would recommend this for anyone. Three and a fourth inch blade, you're not probably going to get in trouble with it in too many states. Fits in the pocket quite well. It's not too heavy. And you can't go wrong with ZT, guys. ZT is quite the name brand. And it is, makes excellent knives. I have a few more ZT knives I'm thinking about doing a review for. So, anyway, uh, subscribe, comment, and rate this video. Like I said, this is my first knife review. Um, I do plan on doing more if this turns out like a success. So... If I did miss anything or you guys would like to see anything more, please let me know. I'm interested to make these as great as I can for you guys. Um, 
comment. I will get back to you and hit me up. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I look forward to doing more night reviews in the future. Zero Tolerance 0350. Great knife.